Welcome back. You watch your morning live. Thank you very much for staying with us. Now, eight first time filmmakers have received an opportunity from Natives at Large and Jungle Work to develop their short scripts. The graduates have gone under a series of training and mentorship from professionals in the film industry. The screening of the final product titled Rites of Passage is underway at the Bicycle Independent Cinema and will run until the 14th of June. Ramadan Suleiman is a producer and with him is Lerato Malloy and Mtombi Zodwa Magagula, who are two of the eight novices, uh, novice directors of the films. Guys, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having us. So let's start with you. Let's talk about this initiative and giving a voice and skill to young directors, young people, and creating an opportunity for them. Well, the initiative was given birth by the NFVF, the Kesedan Film Commission, and Natives at Large, and Jungle Works. Um, usually we have a large number of graduates Mm. Um, every year, film graduates who leave universities or institutions and they have nowhere to go in the film industry. Mm. And the idea was to say, how do we give these young people, the youth, an opportunity to make their first films? Usually people are asked, what's your experience? Mm. What have you done? And, <clears throat> and usually as black youth, nobody gives them opportunities. Mm. Unlike in the normal case in South Africa, if you have your uncle... Uh, brother-in-law or sister who's or aunt to it. who's connected to you it. Get opportunity. You get opportunities. But in, in our case as black people, we have nobody. Mm. So this, this um, initiative w came about in to say how, how about as a three-year project, mm. we give these young people an opportunity. So every year we, we mentor uh, 10 people who do their 24-minute short films and this was the first initiative which was wow. which was 15 minutes each i, I want to bring um Lerato and mtombi into this conversation but very quickly these young people are these young people with a set of skills already that you've identified and say well you guys are kind of our crop for this year or are these young people who have an appreciation for film but have no background we we don't train directors okay it's not my job to to basically do that but what we say is um you must come from a film school at least okay so you must have a little bit of a background yes um and their skill was to write a synopsis and we selected them on the basis of a synopsis wow, okay yeah that's you know, where we we found that there was a story that they had to tell and we're not concerned in 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 writing good english mm. so they're, the best, them for they're the best the best and Domi, let me, very quickly, what was your script about? Um, the title is Awakening, which is a story about this young girl, Ulisaidi. Um, she, she's, she's experienced a loss in her life because she has lost uh, her girlfriend through hate crime. So she meets um, a young lady who helps her with the journey of healing. And they meet and she helps her to face her fears, which is facing the person that did the, the crime. Mm. And eventually she... She overcomes everything that and leaves behind everything that happened with her, with mm. losing the girlfriend and trying to move on with her life. What was this process like? Yo, <laughs> it was very challenging because you come from school and you basically know everything that you've done through school production, and you go to this um, project and they train. I mean, they mentor you through script writing mm. and through to directing and you come on set for the first time, a professional crew is there waiting for you. It was daunting. Even, even I, I was not, I didn't think I was ready for this, uh, for this journey to become a director, but they encouraged but, me. But you love the process. Yes, oh. I did. Rata, let me bring you, what was your story about? My story is called The Devil I Know, and it's a story about two women, Lindiwe and Karabo, who are in a passionate and loving relationship. And for the longest time, they want to have a child. So they go through a process and it doesn't work for the longest time. So Lindiwe decides to go and sleep with her ex-boyfriend just to fall pregnant. What, what was this process like? Because I, as she said, it was, as Ndomi said, it was challenging. It was really challenging because I come from a documentary background. I didn't know anything. This is very different. Eh? It's very different, very different. So I had to learn how to write a script. And I remember at first I was so attached to my script. And I used to name my characters 
with my own name. So I was so attached to this script. So they had to tell me to let go. Basically divorce you from what you wrote. Divorce from what I wrote and... <laughs> Yeah, it was a it was a it was a great experience. It was a very great very experience. very quickly, Raman, Ramadan. We going, we're running out of time. This process. Do you, do you think you've you've ticked the box in terms of success? You've got very strong female directors here, and they and they talk about how amazing it was very quickly. Well, the success for me was the majority of those eight short films are young women. Wow, that's great. Right. So and and the second year again we have five females again out of the ten. So there is a lot of stories to tell. And I think for me, this is the future of South African filmmaking. I take my head off to you. It's what a great process. Uh, Ramadan Suleiman is producer of Rites of Passage. We also have um, Lorato Malloy and Ntombi Zodwa Magagula, who are two of the eight first-time directors' features in the Rites of Passage short film initiative. The films are screened at the Bicycle Independent Cinema in Mabuneng until the 14th of June. Come on, guys. Let's all go down to the Bioscope Independent Cinema. Let's go and take a look at these films. This is an amazing project. Let's support it. Lebo, standing by with your support.